So I need to paint some of these Soviet infantry soldiers from a Stalingrad diorama, the 1 to 35. They're not the best. Zvezda, there they were from. They're not, they're not brilliant. They're, they're, they're sort of all right. Um, I'll show you the sort of colours. I'm just using colours that I've got. So sometimes if you have got a colour that's similar, just, just use that. So once we put a wash on it, um, it can distort the colour. his boots with a very very dark grey not black and then we can hopefully do some shading and stuff like that in the final stages of painting the figure detail on these boots. You can argue the paint could be a bit thinner but there's really no detail on it. It and right after we put sort of a, a black wash on, I don't think we're going to see that much. So there's the one boot. rucksack thing. I want some sort of drab, olive drab or something like that. So I've got one of these starter kits and it's light olive Revell 45. It's just because I've got it and I quite like the colour. Uh, let's see what you think. Again just a little bit of water because it is quite sticky Revell paints. Just take your time but I've got all this in my wet palette. So, so I always end up touching things up. I see painters on YouTube and they're great because they, they seem to be able to do it first time and I, I just can't. And then the strap that just seems to be in the wrong place. What, well, paint with the rucksack? But what, if you notice there's something there, there's a bag that's got to go on. I didn't really want to put things like that on because I wanted them to open these like, assault troops and they haven't got much stuff on them and I'm not good enough to get rid of that really so I might end up having to put it on just to because it looks a bit daft so I might just have to put something on to to solve that
Well, it will go right over the buckle. Next, we're going to do the water bottle. Done a bit of research, and they all seem to be um, sort of earth, flat earth. Now, I'm just using some Ravella again because that's what I've got. But you could use uh, Humbrel 29, I think, or 26. Uh, I don't know why it's using Rahechio. Um, probably wouldn't use Tamiya because they're, they are difficult to sort of paint with. So let's have a go. I'm just cheating and coming straight from the spot with this one. I'm not using the wet palette. Just a little bit of flash on it. So next we'll have a go at doing the, uh, the spade. So as you can notice with the spade, the bottom bit looks as if that's the part of the blade and the sort of top bit um, looks like it's the sort of holder. I'm not exactly sure how that's held in. So the bottom bit will probably do in old wood and um, the, this top holder bit, look, it looks like sacking. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll use some of that black we used earlier for the boots on the top of the uh, shovel. to do a bit more research with that I'm not exactly sure how it works so the top bit's sacking now I'm not sure whether to do it the same colour as this so you've got a bit of harmony going around the belt or whether to use beige. Um, let me have a little go on something else and we'll see. So while I'm trying to decide what to do with a holder for the shovel, I'll just paint the handle old wood, which is that one, which I see a lot of people using. And usually they either put a little bit of a wash to try and get a bit of grain or they dab a bit of I don't know, white or something on it, um, or even some oils. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but let's just paint this up. I have to say it's well worth getting some of this old wood paint. Bit of flash there. Just gives it a nice just subtle effect. I've got a bit of Ravel beige 89. 
anything that's similar really because it, it looks like sacking on uh, when I googled it I'm going to try some uh, black metallic. It's out of a Helicio um, set. But you, you could paint it in silver and put a black wash on it. You can paint it black and dry brush or put some um, gun metal pigments on after. There's loads of ways you can do it. to see how this looks I'm not happy I can always I can always change it this is a bottle of model air so it's supposed to be for paintbrush so it's quite thin already so I'll crack on with this and we'll see what it's like at the end for the belt I'm going to use some Citadel paint. Now, the, I know they're expensive, but I really like this Mournfang brown. It's, 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 it's a beautiful brown, and uh, I do use it sometimes for sort of wood as well. But I'm going to use this for the, the leather belt that goes around his waist. There's the buckle, I'll sort of paint the buckle in, but I will go out with some aluminium paint for the buckle. So I'll crack on and do this and then I'll show you what it's like at the end. So that's the belt done, I just need to lay dry and then paint in the buckle. And while I was at it, well, I missed a little bit. It's like a strap on the water bottle, just to make it a little bit interesting. The top of the water bottle's got to be um, like Russian uniform green, sort of uh, the same as what the helmet will be once I've had another go at the face. There's sort of red sort of markings on his, uh, on his collar. So I'm going to do that. I'll probably do it off camera because it's <laughs> I'm not that confident doing it on camera. So I'll do it and then I'll show it you. So I think that's probably all right once it's got a wash on. I might go over it again. And it looks like there's some sort of button in it as well, which I'll have to have a look to what colour that is. Um, there's a bit of touching up you can see with the, the silver I just need to sort of do a little bit and then I think I'm going to put a wash on it I'll, you can see how I do that and um, and then it's just doing a, some highlighting um, and the face so yeah probably there's a lot more to do than I thought so this was the uh, their sort of rucksack that they sort of used and I'm going to that I've missed off the original figure I've
painted it up with just a, an ochre or something. And I'm going to paint it now with uh, some MIG paint, just some Russian green. Um, and then I'll put it on and paint the straps. I'll paint uh, the straps before I affix the, um, the rucksack on, just to save a, a bit of time. <laughs> 